thought I'd put together a little video of what I do with all the scraps, all the bits and pieces that I have left over when I finish a piece of work. When I finish a piece of work I usually trim the edges and so I have all these wonderful offcuts which have little bits of embroidery, little bits of colour and um, I, know, I don't like throwing things away because there's always something, something juicy, something lovely even if it ends up being trimmed. So what I do, I sort of get them in a heap and then I start trying to put things together to see how they fit, to see whether there's some nice combinations. So these natural ones, these natural colours are quite nice. Just have a bit of a play. Uh, yeah, see the colours are quite similar, that's quite nice. Would that go with that? And what I have, so here, here is a card blank and so my finished piece I want to be about that size and so what I've done, if that's my template, I've cut it out of this other piece of card which I can now use as a window to position it over my little collection of strips and see how we're looking, see whether I like what I've done. Um, I'm not convinced, it will probably need something else adding to it. And I've got more little lace scraps here and things like some twine, all sorts of random bits and pieces. But uh, So I'm going to carry on fiddling with that. Right, so I think I've decided on this arrangement here. And so what I've done, I've trimmed off all these sort of extra bits, any rough bits. So because these are all edges, they've all got the extra bit of stitch and tear from when I was stitching the piece of work. So I've trimmed all that off and made them all roughly the same size. Here's my template again. So that's the finished size that I want to be able to go on my card. So I've cut myself a piece of stitch and tear about a centimetre or two bigger all round. That gives me a place to start and stop stitching. So what I need to do now is start to stitch these pieces down onto the stitch and tear. It doesn't have to be stitch and tear, it could be a piece of calico, some lightweight fabric. to do is just to do an applique flower just some petals and I think what I'm going to use for this is I'm going to use this and I've cut some petal shapes out of this and what this is this is painted kitchen towel so like this here's some kitchen towel that's been painted and because I discovered this is another one of those ridiculous things that I do when I wipe up my painting surface with kitchen towel, I then discovered that the painty kitchen towel is actually quite pretty. So I've started collecting it, slightly, slightly duffed. And when it's dry, you can separate out the different pieces of kitchen towel into each layer of paper, let it dry, and then I iron it onto a piece of bonder web. And then when it's, when it's ironed onto the bond web, it's all, all glued then, and so it, it's a bit stronger. 
and then you can bond it onto something else and just to protect the surface in case the paint comes off I don't know why it would I'm not going to put this through the wash but anyway I've painted it with a very fine coat of acrylic wax you don't have to do that you could just get your piece of painted kitchen towel put that on some bond web and just use it without the wax so I'm going to cut some petal shapes out of this and iron them onto here and then I'm going to stitch them down with some more free motion. That's the plan. embroidery and I'm really pleased with that so I've put the template back over the top to position it where I want it and I've marked the four corners with some pins straight down into the ironing pad so I can take that off and then when I flip that over I can take the pins out and I've marked just with normal pen I've marked where those pins are So I can now take those pins out and I am going to draw a line just to connect those points. So that shows me my finished edge. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stitch that way up where I can see that line and I'm going to stitch slightly inside of that line all the way around because I'm going to end up actually cutting on that line. So the stitch needs to be just inside that line and the stitch all the way around just helps hold everything together so any loose threads helps keep it all, all together. attach my piece of work to my card. So I've trimmed all the way around on that line. I've added some double-sided sticky tape just top and bottom away from the edge because I am also going to stitch this down. You don't have to stitch. I like to. I don't know. Paranoid about things falling off could use glue but I always then worry about the glue going through to the other side 
So that's on there nice and firmly. So I'm going to go back to the sewing machine and change to a long stitch length because I don't want to make too many holes in the back of this card. So nice, probably the longest stitch length I can. Being careful not to overshoot the edge of the embroidery into the card here somewhere. So I'm just going to go and do that now. finished I am really pleased with that just going to give a little tiny trim there so now I can fold that and there we are one finished card really really pleased with that